Hey Jackal, do you want to show changes that you're making on a project to a client that is a million miles away? In real time, I'll show you how, by using DaVinci Resolve, but you do need the studio version. Now let's get digital. This feature was added in DaVinci Resolve 18.5 and you can access it by going to Workspace, Remote Monitoring. Now I already have this set up because I forgot to record it, but when you open this window for the first time, you'll have to log in. Which you don't have any option on how to make an account, you can only sign in. So to make an account, we'll have to go to Blackmagic Design, go to Login, and make a new Blackmagic Cloud account. Now let me point out one of the two biggest issues is that the client will also have to have a Blackmagic Cloud account in order to view what you'll be showing. Now once you fill in all of the data, you'll get a confirmation email. Now once you get the email, you'll have to activate the cloud account. Just make sure that you actually put the correct email in. Now let's activate the account. The email was verified and now we can log in. And now in DaVinci Resolve, we can now sign in. And let's see. We should be able to see something else. We'll have a bunch of video codecs available and this depends on your PC specs. The H.265 codecs are a bit more demanding on the PC. So I'll go with this one, 8-bit and the bitrate, this is the upload speed. And I'll select 5 megabits per second. And if the stream will be lagging, you can always lower this value or increase it if it looks choppy and enable the automatically accept connections and let's start the session. Now we have to copy this key and send it to the client. How the client can connect is either on the iPhone or the iPad, which is okay because it has a separate app that you can download. There is no Android app available at the moment, which I kind of understand why they didn't make one yet. Basically making apps for Android is getting worse each year, but I'll have a dedicated video on this topic next week. But what if you don't have the iPhone and the iPads? Well, you can connect with the PC, but you have to download DaVinci Resolve and you have to download the studio version, which means that you also need to have a studio account, which is kind of pointless if you just want to show the client how something looks. You'll need to copy this value and send it to the client in my case, I'll send it to myself on another PC and hopefully I'll be able to make the connection. Now in my second PC, I had to open the monitoring app. You can simply type in monitor to open the Vinci remote monitor. Put the link in, select the monitor display. I only have one. A few moments later. So it took some time for the connection to be made. Now this code always changes, so it's unique per session. And then you can see who is actually connected to the current link. Now at the moment, you see my whole DaVinci Resolve screen, but on the second monitor that is actually viewing, you only see the screen view, which is this. Now I can play this. And let's see, the second monitor is not updating in real time, it's lagging. So maybe what I need to do is lower the connection. So let's go to settings, lower the bitrate, save. So now it's updating and let's see, and now the playback is smooth. So the bitrate was just a bit too high. Now upon changing the settings, the screen was minimized, so I had to maximize it again. But now this plays exactly as it should. Now my second screen is just for testing. It has a TN display, so any color correction would be way off. But what this is supposed to do is that you can show the client what you have. You can scrub through and they see the whole picture, not just 
this screen as I do, I can also go to the color tab and apply maybe some LUTs and I see the changes immediately. Let's see, Alt S and add a new one. And this also works even if I just scrub over them. So any kind of change that you make will be visible immediately in the remote monitor and the client could then give you input on what they want to change. Now the major downside is that the client has to download the whole DaVinci Resolve. The monitoring app is not a standalone app, it's packed inside DaVinci Resolve, which at this point is about 5 gigabytes to download, unpack and install, which takes some time, and then they also have to make a Blackmagic Cloud account, which is not ideal. So to avoid all of that fuss, people usually use just Zoom call, Skype or anything else, and while calls like that are instant, the downside of them is that the client will see the whole screen, not just the screen view, which is the benefit of the monitoring app. So if anyone from Blackmagic is watching, please make a standalone monitoring app so the client can download a few megabytes and also don't make it mandatory for the clients to make a Blackmagic cloud account as they do need a valid key to connect to a session. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon and until next time Jackal, keep it digital.